In this video, we're going to mount a Renard SS16 board in a CG1500 case. I'm going to go ahead and start doing it while I'm speaking, just so you can see how quickly this goes. Uh, the only thing that's different about this particular installation is we've replaced the standard screw-down terminal headers that would be on the PC board with uh, some headers that accept plugs and move the screw downs off onto some plugs so that we can easily detach the board from the wires. I just want to make the comment this is not my idea. This is all based upon a comment that Phil Short had made when he read a post about how many wires you need to unscrew in order to pull out an SS24 board in order to do board maintenance. So based upon that, he had referenced some plugs. I went on to Mouser and looked up some compatible parts with the SS Series PC board and ordered them when I was doing an, an order to build this particular board and decided I would see whether this was a good idea and whether it worked. A little bit more expensive than the standard design, but it seems to have worked quite well. So now our PC board is mounted in the case. In the traditional model, what we do now is start wrestling all these wires into the screw terminals and screwing them down. But because they're already attached to the plugs, all I have to do is begin plugging it in. So there's the left side power. There's four channels connected. Eight channels connected. Twelve channels connected. 16 channels connected, right side power, and we're all done mounting the board. Let's go ahead and plug it in, see that everything works. Power light has come on, and what we'll do now is we should actually have a DMX signal coming in, so let's see whether we can get some lights to blink. Board is all working. So, as you can see, it was very, very quick to do the maintenance here. Had we removed it, if we had to remove it to do any maintenance, just unplug everything, take out the four screws, go do our work. Again, this is not on my idea. It's based upon all the excellent designs on doityourselfchristmas.com. Thanks to everybody there for all the help and advice you give us. Uh, looking forward to doing our Christmas display and setting it up for the Thanksgiving weekend. Again, thanks to everyone at Do It Yourself Christmas.